Timothy Jordan, and this is The Developer Show, on location at Google I.O. 2016. And I'm here with Noah. We're going to talk about Project Tango. Now, there is a Project Tango game that people are playing with here in the sandbox uh, called World. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So this is a game that's being done by a, a new company called Phenomena, but with some very old and experienced uh, game developers, uh, including a designer called Keita Takahashi. Mm -hmm. He worked on a game called Katamari Damacy. And this it's is an a, awesome game. Oh, Played just it. great yeah. stuff. You know, but a very playful approach. Mm -hmm. And he's brought that to World. It's it's a game where you can actually set up little things in a virtual world that are situated in the real world. So as you move around with the Tango device, you can actually see them from different angles and set them up uh, on the real walls and floors of your room. Now you tell me a little bit earlier about the first steps you take into the game. What is that like? Sure. Well, at the beginning, one of the things that you do, for example, is you're given a little seedling, and you can plant that in the ground, and then perhaps on a nearby wall, you can take a cloud, but the cloud is actually on a spring, so you put it on the wall, and it goes boing, 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 and you can click on the cloud, and it starts raining, and suddenly the seed will sprout and turn into a flower. So it's stuff everybody understands intuitively, but then you can play with the stuff, put the flower on top of another flower, have them start rotating, make them bigger or smaller, mm -hmm. the whole thing just sort of opens it up as a, a playground for you to try. Something I've heard you talk about before, which I really love with Project Tango, is the ability to make any space a play space, which seems to be evident in this game. So one of the great things is that you can use the Tango device to actually have it be a sort of a magic window into a virtual world that you create or that's been created by the developer so that as you move it around, it's as if you're seeing right into this other space that isn't even there. That's really cool. It's great stuff. Uh, one more general question for you. What is your favorite thing about being a game designer and developer? Wow, I think the best thing about being a game designer is that you get to make things that you enjoy, that are fun, that please the rest of the world. You know, it's, it's pretty much like other entertainers, just a lot more nerdy than uh, <laughs> being a rock star, for example. Awesome. Thank you so much, Noah. All right. Thank you, Timothy. Aton, let's talk more about Project Tango. What do you say? Absolutely. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a handful of things that I'd like to ask you about. First off, uh, it's been a few months since we've talked, and uh, we talked a little bit about stuff coming up at I.O. this year. Uh, what are some of the highlights? Yeah, so this year at I.O. we've announced a couple of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first one is we've made some improvements in our meshing APIs, and the second is that we're announcing that a month from now we're going to be, le be releasing some improvements in area learning APIs. And specifically, we'll be correcting for drift of the device as it moves around an object that should keep your augmented reality content really fixed in the world in a nice way. And that's really key for augmented reality. In fact, we talked to Noah about World, where uh, it's kind of making the the real space around you a play space by adding virtual objects. And something like that drift um, compensation would be really key for keeping those virtual objects where you place them. Exactly. You want to lock those objects in place relative to the geometry of your physical environments. And yeah. that's something we're really excited to be able to provide to our developers. That's really cool. Yeah. What are some of the, the coolest, most exciting things that they're working on? Yeah, so this year we're really excited because we're building real apps for our consumer launch, and we're showing some of them in our booth today. Uh, so we've got measurements, which I really like, so you can use your Tango device as a tape measure, measure from the floor to the ceiling or in hard to reach places, measure things like areas and volumes very easily. Then we've got at-home retail, so we've got companies like Lowe's and Wayfair who are trying to place furniture and kitchen appliances into your home, let you visualize how they look, see how it fits in your space, make sure that you're good to go before mm -hmm. you buy online, and sort of reduce the number of returns and give people a better sense of interior decoration. And then we've got gaming. So we've got World by Phenomena. We've got Trixie Studios with their Fantageist game. And it's really exciting to see people brought into you know their environment, engaged with their environment, but also with like virtual creatures thrown in for good measure. So cool. 